On the Money Watch now, the new child tax credit in the latest coronavirus economic relief plan just passed by Congress will provide extra money to most American families. But experts believe it could potentially have a profound effect on poverty in this country. CBS 4's Natalie Brand explains. Yeah, she just turned one today. Isabel Sierra and her husband have four children and have struggled to make ends meet during the pandemic. Yes, yeah, very hard. Very hard. The motion is adopted. Millions of parents are about to get more money from the new COVID relief package. Individuals making up to $75,000 and couples earning $150,000 will receive $3,600 per child under the age of six and up to $3,000 for children ages six to 17, an increase from the previous $2,000. There's also a unique change for parents like Sierra. She previously did not make enough to receive a child tax credit. I didn't qualify. The new benefit does not require parents have a job or earn a minimum income. It's the biggest single action toward reducing poverty that's been taken in a long time. Elaine Mogg from the Urban Institute is among the experts who believe the new money could help lift at least 4 million children out of poverty. The legislation aims for payments to be made monthly and start this summer. But right now, the measure only lasts a year. What happens after that, it's unclear. We do have a history of it being very difficult to take away benefits in the tax system once we have them there. Democrats are expected to push to make the credit permanent, while Republicans are offering their own proposals. The payments could add up to more than $13,000 for Sierra on top of the new stimulus check. It'll help out a lot, get them clothes, get them whatever they need, save money for the future. She says it could also help her afford child care so she can work more. Natalie Brand, CBS News, Washington.